Shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the one the world ignorantly calls God. Yah meaning he, and Hawa meaning to be or exist. So Yahweh's name means he is or he to be or he exists. And Yahweh is not a so called white man, he is a so called black man. Bahashem meaning in the name, Ba meaning in, Ha meaning the, Shem meaning name. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is the one the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai meaning save or deliver. So Yahweh Shai's name means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. And Yahweh Shai, all right, also is not a so-called white man. He's a so-called black man, just like his heavenly father Yahweh, just like his father Yahweh. Bahashem once again meaning in the name, and Racha Kwadash meaning holy spirit. Racha meaning spirit and Kwadash meaning holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. That belongs to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, never well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right, and this lesson is just going into Ezekiel, the second chapter. The way you say Ezekiel in the Hebrew is, I'll prove it to you. This is Ezekiel 1 and 3 says, The word of Yahweh came expressly unto Ezekiel, the priest, the son of Buzi, or Buzar, in the land of the, of the Chaldeans by the river of Kabar. And the hand of Yahweh was there upon him. So let's look at this name Ezekiel. All right. The way you see the Strong's is 31, Strong's is H3168. The Hebrew word you say this is Yahazak Allah. Yahazak Allah. That's how you say Ezekiel in the Hebrew. All right. It says God strengthens. All right. What? Ezekiel 2. Going right into it. Ezekiel 2 and 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon my feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. All right. So, who is the children of Israel? The children of Israel, all right, are you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Seminole Indians, all right? If your father's if your father's ethnicity is any of those ethnicities I just listed, then you're an Israelite, okay? Regardless of what you look like, all right? But, you know... <clears throat> you know, that's the children of Israel. Those are the those are the real Israelites. But however, the Lord said, the rebellious nation hath rebelled against me. Right? You know, majority of you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you know, the people I just listed, majority of you are are are, are rebellious against Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Verse four says, For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. And when you look at the word impudent, all right. Impudent definition. It says not showing due respect for another person. Impertinent. All right. And that's how you so-called black Hispanics, Native Americans are. You know, it says for they are impudent children and stiff hearted. Let's look up this word. In uh, Hebrew. Strong's age 2389 Chazak and it says stout strong stout mighty all right let me look it up on the um regular dictionary stiff hearted and it says obstinate stubborn contumacious and let's look at that word stubborn and it says Having or showing dog the determination not to change one one's attitude or position on something, especially in spite of good arguments or reasons to do so. That's what obstinate means, you know? You got the same stubborn as a mule. Right? And that's how a majority of you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are. You know? Here it is the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is sending his men out there on the highways and hedges. You know, starting with the apostles and elders, great millstone. Alright. You know. 
and the um, brothers under them teaching the same doctrine as them. Here we, here it is. The Lord is sending us out there on the highways and hedges, all right, on the street corners, you know, around the business, the chief places of concourse, all right. It tells you in Proverbs, the first chapter, which I'll actually get. All right, this is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. Because, you know, we go out there on the highways and hedges, on the street corners, and preach his word, right? She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttereth her word, saying, and you look at that word concourse, all right? Concourse definition. A large open area inside or in front of a public building, as in an airport or train station, a crowd or assembly of people. All right. You see, concourse, for example, like a downtown area, you know. Um, you know, a downtown area where it's a lot of, you know, business and commerce and people walking by cars going around you know we go out there you know and preach all right and you you so-called black hispanic native americans you'll walk by us while we're preaching you know but you won't listen you know and even when we even if you do listen a right, majority of y'all even if you do listen you know you still ain't gonna repent you know you're gonna do whatever you want to do you're stiff-hearted see the lord yahweh bahashim yahweh shai knows his people Right, he's telling Ezekiel how they are. He says, I do send thee unto them, right? We have to deal with you, man. All right. The Lord sent us to preach this message is truth to you. All right. But even then we have to put we have to put up with all the stuff that you you know with how you are. We have to put up with you. Okay. You know, here it is. We're just we're teaching you the truth. <laughs> so the scriptures say this, and the brother had mentioned them before. Galatians chapter four, verse sixteen. And there, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? You know, because that's how you that's how you see us as your enemies. And we're just telling you the truth. We're literally relaying a message to you from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Right? That's why it says in verse 4, continuing, it says, And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. So we have so we tell you what the Lord says. We're not making it up. It's not our own words, you know. We tell you what the Lord says. But you don't listen. You know, we tell you to repent, stop eating pork, crabs, lobsters, and shrimp, and all abominations. Like, you know, but you're like, nah, you don't want to stop. You don't want to put down the pork and the crab legs and the, and the lobster tails and, you know, the shrimps, the jumbo shrimps, you know, the, the shrimp cocktails. You don't want to put that down, you know. You don't want to do that. You're stiff hearted. So I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Right? Here it is. We're telling you what the Lord says, and you still don't want to listen. It's the Lord, man. All right. That's, you know, speaking through us, and you still don't want to listen. Verse 5, and they, whether they will hear, whether they will forbear, so whether they're going to listen or not, it says, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. So whether you want to listen or not, you're going to know that you had a, pro that you had a prophet among you, you know. You're going to know. Verse 6, and thou, son of men, and I was talking, you know, to us, you know, and thou, son of men, be not afraid of them, you know, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. You know, the Lord is, you know, like, you know, um, pretty much describing their nature, the children of Israel's nature, you know, like briars and thorns and scorpions, all right? Says, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. So we're not, so, because remember, you know, Jake is stiff-hearted, you know, stubborn, you know. They don't want to listen to the Lord, you know. And here it is, you know, we're coming to tell them, you know, that they have to repent. You know, we're coming to tell them what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai says, and they aren't going to like that, you know. They're going to say mean words to us, give us mean looks and everything, threaten us. But the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is saying, we're not to be afraid of that, man. You know, if the Lord is with us, why would I be afraid of you? <laughs> okay. You know, 
you can't do anything to me unless Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai says you can. Okay, so why would I be afraid of you, man? All right. You know, brothers, you know, great millstone, we've, we've, like, the brothers that are like minded as great millstone, all right, teaching the same doctrine as great millstone. We've dealt with that plenty of times, man. You know, this is how this describes our people. You know, they, um, they don't want to listen. You know, that they're, they're rebellious. They had, they, they threaten you. You know, when you tell them, um, when you, when you tell them, um, Salaki for that background noise, they threaten you and you tell them, you know, to do right in the eyes of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah to repent. Majority of them threaten you. They, want, they don't want to listen to you. They, they clown you. They make mockery of you. You know? They give you mean looks, mean mug you and everything. You know? Some of them even want to kill you. Okay? I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. But nevertheless, the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is on our side, man. You know, and the angels of the Lord encamp around about us is the book of Psalms. Or Psalm chapter 34. And verse 7. The angel of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Even when we on the highways and byways, you know, out there on the street corners prophesying and teaching. All right. The Lord is around us, man. Even you brothers that do preach by yourselves, you know. Even you brothers that are out there on the highways and hedges by yourself. Because there are some brothers that do that. You know, you sincere like-minded brothers that teach the doctrine that Great Millstone teaches. You know, you have to, you know, you out there on the highways and hedges and you got to deal with these jakes too. The Lord, hey, the Lord is with you, man. You know, the Lord is with you. You know, the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him and delivereth them. You know, the, the angels of the Lord, the angel of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah encamp round about you regardless of what comes up, you know, Regardless of what comes up against you, you know, regardless of Jake coming around you, saying all types of threats and mocking you, you know, looking at you funny and things, you know, the Lord is with you, man. All right. And, 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 and with the rest of the um, sincere, like minded brothers that teach the doctrine that GMS teaches, man. All right. Ezekiel 2. <clears throat> and verse 7. No, verse six again and now son of man be not afraid of them neither be afraid of their words though briars and thorns be with thee and thou dost dwell among scorpions be not afraid of their words nor be dismayed at their looks though they be a rebellious house read that in the nlt son of man do not fear them or their words don't be afraid even though you, their threats around you like nettles and briars and stinging scorpions do not be dismayed by their dark scowls even though they are rebels Back in the KJV verse 7, and thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. See, we got to speak the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Not our own, you know, whatever we, you know, not, not our own words, you see. We got to stick to these scriptures, man. Speak the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, stick to the doctrine which we have learned, all right? You know, of Great Millstone. All right, got to speak those words, man. Okay, and I keep saying doctrines. All right, doctrine is pretty much a set of teachings. Okay, let me look it up in the etymology online dictionary. All right, doctrine. So the body of principles, dogmas, etc., etc., in a religion or field of knowledge. All right, you can write to the point. Here it says a teaching, body of teachings, you know, you look it up on the um, regular dictionary on Google, doctrine, definition, and it says a belief or set of beliefs held and taught by a church, political party, or other group. So it's like a set of teachings for an example of a doctrine is if somebody says the sky is green, right? And then you have another person that says the sky is blue. The person who said the sky of green, that's his doctrine that the sky being green, even though it's a false doctrine, you know. But then you have another person who says the sky is blue, you know. And that would be, you know, his doctrine. And it would be a true doctrine, okay. But just giving you an example of, the, you know, what doctrine means, 
All right. We have to teach the correct doctrine. All right. You know, you know, we can't come up with our own words. You know, when I say we can't come up with our own words, meaning we can't, you know, pretty much you pretty much you just got to say what the Lord, you know, pretty much speak the Lord's words, you know. Speak the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse 8. But thou, son of man. All right. It says, But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Right? We ain't supposed to be rebellious like the um majority of our people, man. We supposed to serve, listen, and obey Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, a precept a brother quoted was this as well. So, Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Right. You know, the majority of the nation of Israel is following, the, is, 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 is doing evil. Okay. But we ain't supposed to be like that. You know. But Ezekiel 2 and 8. It says, but thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. You know, meaning understand and digest, you know, the message the Lord has for Israel, you know, and then teach that to Israel. All right. Understand and digest the message of the Lord. So today we have to understand the whole role or Bible, you know, and teach it to the Israelites. Pretty much you have to learn the truth. And teach it to Israel, to the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Seminole Indians. Learn the truth, and then teach it. All right, to the uh, to Israelites, you know. Verse nine. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, you know. <clears throat> and this roll of a book represented the message the Lord had for Ezekiel to tell Israel. You know, but in today's time, this represents the Bible. All right. Verse 10. And he spread it before me and it was written within and without. Right. To it, once again, the Bible and written is written within and without, you know, on the inside and the back side of it. Written within. Strong. This is the word written in the Hebrew. Strong. Some some Hebrew real quick. Psalms. Slakia. Strong. H. 3789. Kathab. It says to write, record, to write, you know, written within Strong's H6440. Punyam. Face, face, faces. All right. Um, here. In. Okay. You know, and it says without Strong's H. 268 Acha War, the back side, the rear, you know, so within, so, you know, inside, on the inside and outside of, on, in the back side of the Bible is just, it's written, you know, you look, you open the Bible and it's written within, you know, you flip a page, both sides of the page is written on, you know, it says, and there was written therein in the Bible, lamentations and mourning and woe, because majority of what's in the Bible is lamentations, mourning and woe, you know. Lamentations get these words. Well, actually, you know, you could look that up, but Lamentations are more than a woe. You know, a lot of people think when they open the Bible, it's going to be, a, um, you know, everything is good. No, majority of what's in here is Lamentations and more than a woe. I read that in the NLT. And I saw, which is which he unrolled, and I saw that both sides were covered with funeral songs, words of sorrow, and pronouncements of doom. Okay. You know, and like a brother had pointed out, um, people like this call the Bible the good book. Well, one, it, and it's just there's two things real quick. One, it shows hypocrisy of the world because if it's the good book and we're preaching out of the good book, all right, why do they want to persecute us and why do they hate us? You know, if they're calling it the good book, so they're really against the Lord. They're they're against, the world is against what's good. And number two. Um, <clears throat> it 
So, like, it was the point I was going to say. Um, I was going to say something. So, like, it slipped my mind, but, you know, yeah, man. All right. Majority of what's in the scriptures is um, limitations and more than the will. All right. This is our job, man. Let me get a precept because once again, it says, and now shall I speak my words unto them. This is the book of Second Esdras, the 15th chapter, and the first to third verse. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord. And that's one thing that Great Millstone does a lot, all right? Is speak about prophecy. We you know we cover the MOTB. Everyone knows that. World War III, um, Jacob's Trouble, even past prophecies, man. You know, prophecies that happened in, in the, um, ancient times, you know. I remember the apostles and elders of Great Millstone going into Daniel, the eighth chapter, all right? Going into um, you know, uh, Alexander the Greek, all right. It says verse two and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true, okay. So here it is. You got to think, right? The Lord is telling us to. The Lord is giving us a message, and we and we take that message and speak His words unto Israel, right? Then we can't be lying. Because the Lord don't lie. Quick precept. Numbers 23 and 19. And it says, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? Right. So the Lord don't lie. So the Lord is telling us to speak his words unto the Israelites. Then we're not lying. You see? So... And that also goes to show why you shouldn't debate, all right? Having these debates, you can't. How do you debate the truth? You you can't, you know. It's the truth. Verse two, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. See, verse three, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity or disbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So we ain't supposed to be letting anyone that you know mocks us and you know etc. Out of disbelief trouble us, okay? You know. I don't got to worry about them, you know? So, hey man, you know, it's our, you know, it's our job. And we've been doing this, you know? We've been preaching to Jake. And we know how Jake is. Brothers have seen Jake come up and get all, you know, rowdy with them, clowning them, etc., mocking them, you know? We've seen, we know how our people is, man. You know, but... The Lord's going to judge him for that, man. Even though Jake is hard-headed and rebellious, the Lord is going to judge Jake, man. All right? You know, you know they stiff neck and don't want to repent. The Lord going to get Jake for that. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, and verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. So the Lord is going to get you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans back for your wickedness. You know, you don't think it's a price to pay. Well, you're going to learn, you know, and in the, in the, in the warning is, is, is been going out. All right. But, you know, even warning sirens don't last forever. OK. So you got a limited time, man. You got a limited time. All right. You know, but we're doing our job, you know, going out here and telling Jake. You know, warning Jake and repent, telling them to repent, etc. We're, we, we're doing our job, all right? So the blood is off of our hands, okay? You know, we proclaiming the truth, you know, so we got to tell them. You know, yeah, we'll just have it at that, all right? So... It's locking for any background noise you hear, but with that, I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, never will. 
Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace was in Hebrew, Shalom, so Shalom to the elect.